Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about your little nose. So lately I've had a couple clients who've come to me for various issues, low back pain, my shoulder hurts, and things like that. And when I'm listening to them in our consultation, what's interesting is the mystery is always in the history. And some of them have had issues with smell. What's fascinating about that is your sense of smell is a really big deal. And I would ask these clients at the end of the consultation, just curious, how's your vision been going? And surprisingly, everyone who has a cranial nerve one sense of smell issue also has visual issues or they're having a rapid decline in their eyesight. And they're always like, how did you know? Why did you ask that? Well, I don't make things up, I just study them a lot, obsessively, and if you look up, as you will, like you Google researchers, if you look up the brain and cranial nerves, cranial nerve one is called your olfactory. This little guy is responsible for your sense of smell. Right next to him is cranial nerve two, which is your optic nerve. Your optic nerve is responsible for transmitting visual information into your brain. The one next to that is three. Shocking. Cranial nerve three is responsible for six muscles wrapped around your eyeball and how they govern your eyes movements. So you want to do yourself a favor today and smell something. So I want you to find anything that you enjoy. It has to be pleasant, like coffee. This is my absolutely favorite, or my absolute favorite mug. It was my dad's. And my favorite thing in the world to smell is coffee. It's Phil's from the Bay Area, of course. So if I smell this, my first question is, can you smell anything? Yes. Second question, can you identify it? I'm kind of cheating because I know it's coffee. And the third question is, can you visualize it in your mind? Visualize coffee or coffee beans. Those are three different parts of your brain. All right, when you're done with that, I want you to test each nostril. My right nostril, I already know because I've done this a million times, is way stronger than my left. So when I close my right nostril and smell left, I can barely smell anything. And what's truly mesmerizing about this information is I get optic nerve migraines on my left side. Kind of weird. So nothing I say is true. It's all just theory and a potential difference we can make with your body. Do yourself a favor, test out your nose, test each nostril, and just see how it's going and if you can answer those three questions.